today is going to be a nerve-wracking experience because could could this new edition of my favorite fragrance of all one of my favorite of all time the dna is just undefeated could it possibly force me to spend 475 dollars could it we about to find out i already know the answer 475 I already know the answer, but we about to find out. Let's get to the video. YouTube, what's going on? YouTube, what is going on? What is happening, man? Of course, you got one more time, Deja Alex Jr., and I'm back with another fragrance video. Man, 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 I have been waiting and waiting and hoping and wishing that I would get to smell this fragrance, man. But before we get into today's video, hopefully everyone out there is doing well, doing great, doing fantastic. Positive energy and positive vibes. Y'all know how we give it up here on this channel, all right? So, as you saw in the uh, intro to this video, I am super excited, all right? So today we're gonna be smelling a fragrance that has so much hype, already hate, and a lot of conversations built around it. I've watched no fragrance content on this. I've read nothing, zero. Haven't looked at the notes, anything, all right? So this is one of my favorite DNAs by far, top two to be exact, all right? So the Creative Vintage DNA is, to me, just one of the best to ever be created. And I have the original bottle and so many others that smell like it, all right? So as soon as I heard that we were gonna get a flanker, I said, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, and I have it in hand. So I want to give a huge shout out to Miss Heather, my darling friend who always shows me a lot of love. And this was mailed to me from Miss Heather uh, and my local dealers uh, here in Jacksonville, Florida. So if you're in Jacksonville, go to the town center, St. John's Town Center, and ask for Miss Heather, and let's see what she can cook up for you. But this is my sample. I'm not going to uh keep you guys waiting we're going to smell it for the very first time get my first full impressions go through the notes and see if i would entertain a thought of spending 475 dollars on this fragrance which is the retail of it all right so let's get into it here's my sample card creative vintage sample card comes in creative vintage absolute and uh, we're going to pull the fragrance out and let's see, it says Creed 1760 and Aventus Absolute here. I don't know if I can get that in focus for y'all. Probably not, but probably not. There it is, the Creed Absolute. All right, all right, let's get a couple sprays on hand and let's go from there. We're gonna get three sprays on hand. Gonna wave that around. Oh yeah. Smells good, but definitely something different here. Definitely getting a Ventus in the air. Hmm. I will say off the rip, it's a lot more richer, the opening of this thing. It's like a combination of like a, something tart in here. Maybe it's the black currant, a bergamot, but also get pineapple, and maybe orange. What I'm getting is how the Creed Aventus Cologne, like that orangey presence in there comes off. It's in here, but it definitely seems like it's a mix of pineapple and orange. Wow. I think that's the black currant. I don't know if that's bergamot or not. I think, I think that's the black currant in here. This smells really good. <laughs> this smells really good, man. Wow. Dang, man. They, they did a good job. They did a good job just with what I'm experiencing right now and thus far. Woodsy tone still to this fragrance for sure. You definitely get the Creed Aventus tone in this fragrance for sure. But that opening was, whew. That opening was wow. It's kind of like an opening of cologne the orange and then the creed event is pineapple like kind of like together like kind of joshed around in there so off the rip off the rip off this sample i do like this i really like this um 
I can answer the question now, do I think it's $475 worth? It just depends on what my experience is going to be and what it means to me. But off right now, I don't think I'll ever pay $500 retail for a fragrance. I just don't think that's a possibility and just being honest about it. But what I can say is, wow, the experience that I'm getting right now off of something that uh, a DNA that I already love and appreciate, this is really good. So I'm gonna let this settle down and uh, see what we get once we get to the midpoint. But off the rip, guys, yeah, I really do enjoy this experience. So again, off my nose, before we look up the notes, I get this combo of pineapple and orange, but then there's real tarty opening. Either that's some bergamot there or maybe the black currant that I'm sure is in here. It's a staple uh, for creative business, so I'm sure it's in here. So it's already starting to get like a little bit smokier. Yeah, it's already starting to change. So that fruity, juicy opening is really starting to go. And yeah, it's starting to get like a little bit more uh, smokier, um, getting a touch of spice here as well. Okay, all right, let's go ahead and go to the notes according to Parfumo.com, Creed Absolute. So main accords, smoky, citrus, spicy, woody, and fruity. Uh, up top, we got grapefruit, okay, blackcurrant and bergamot, okay. Then we get ginger and lemon, all right. In the heart, we get cinnamon, patchouli, cardamom, pink pepper, pineapple. And then in the base, we get ambroxan, cashmere wood, Haitian vetiver, labdum, musky, and musky, musk, and oak moss. Very healthy note breakdown. So maybe the grapefruit, the bergamot, and the black currant is giving off that tarty vibe to my nose. There's a ginger in here, so that explains like that kick of spice um, that I'm getting uh, in the opening as well. I don't get much of a, a cinnamon here. There's a cinnamon in the heart. Don't get much of that. But the pineapple is there. The pineapple is there. There's a little warmth to it as well. And I got to think that's what the cardamom is giving up um, and working side by side with that ginger to pr uh, provide that spice. Not saying cinnamon is not in here, but I don't pick it up. But cinnamon does contribute to uh, uh, spiciness as well. Okay, so. Man, this is really, really, really good. So for the hype and everything surrounded around this fragrance, all on YouTube, on uh, social media, and anywhere where fragrance content and conversations are being had, you know, you see a lot of love, you see a lot of hate, and then you see a lot of people who just want to have the chance to smell it. And that's where I am. I just wanted to have an opportunity to smell this fragrance, and I was afforded the opportunity to do that. So just off the top of my head, I, I'm, I'm not prepared to say that it could just easily replace the king the originator, I'm not prepared to say that, but I do appreciate the differences that I'm experiencing thus far. And I am a fan of that opening. That opening is really nice, really nice. I really appreciate it. Now, will I be to the point where I'm going to save up and scrape every nickel and dime to spend $500 on the bottle before it's gone? Because this is a limited release. It is a limited release and I don't know how much uh, longer it's going to be around. I know that it is releasing at the beginning of the month. That's when this video is rolling out. So November, the beginning of November, and I believe uh, all retailers in America uh, who have it are going to be selling it. So it's going to be limited. Now I know the conversations out there because I've been a part of them. <laughs> will you get a dupe of this? If our moth comes with it or Alexandria comes with it, will you get a dupe? The answer is yes. I will be getting a dupe. I just don't see how I can justify spending $500 on a fragrance. And I get it. Um, you know, when you talk about niche fragrances and luxury fragrances, keep in mind, when these fragrances are made, they're not made for the conversation of, oh, it costs too much. They make the fragrances, no matter if you're talking Roja Dove or uh, Nishane or Creed or fragrance dubois or whoever these fragrance houses they make their fragrances i'm not gonna they have for specific individual where money is not a converse the price and money is not of conversation and i get that and respect it they create these scent profiles and these dnas on the strength that they're not for the overly conscious person 
uh, in my opinion, when I say conscious, I'm talking about about the money. That's just that's just being real. They don't they don't they don't make it with that uh, in, within hopes of that being a conversation or oh, is it worth the money or not. But here in the YouTube world, in the fragrance world, that conversation is happening whether they want it to happen or not, and I get that as well. But for me, I don't know if I could justify spending five hundred dollars on the bottle. Now, if I catch me something online, which I probably won't. On a discounter, which I probably won't. This probably will never see the site of discounters. But if it get down around 250, 300, then oh yeah, oh yeah, I will grab it. But if Alexandra or Armolf or, or somebody like that, the Tafa or Sasi or somebody like that comes up with a a uh, 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 a dupe or inspired by or whatever word you want to use i would definitely entertain it because i want to see how close they get versus the original so to wrap up this video man my first full impressions is really really good if i had to give it a score i'm a lover of the dna i'm going to give this a nine out of a ten a nine out of a ten i love the opening um and even what it's doing right now it's so much uh, uh it's, it's more richer more bolder than the original aventus um even smoother even smoother than the original Aventus to my nose that opening was fantastic and i love that this smoky uh feel that this fragrance is, is is now pushing off so really good stuff i'm going to wear this out this decant full wearing i don't know when but when i do i'll be back to discuss performance I'll be back to discuss Siage and compare, you know, uh, the original Creative Ventures to the Absolute. We'll do all that then. But I just want to get on camera and give you guys my first reaction, document it, and get it out there to the world because you're going to see so much content for Creative Absolute, and rightfully so. I mean, Creative Ventures is considered the king. Um, it's the most dupe fragrance of all time. And that kind of feeling that this one right here is definitely going to be a part of that club. So, again, from the House of Creed, uh, shout out to Miss Heather. Thank you so much again for sending this my way. We have Absolute Creed Aventus Absolute. We can get that in focus. I don't know if it did or not, but we're just gonna say it did. Got my card here, and I appreciate it. Liked it, like it a lot. I'm not upset. I'm not mad. Um, it's 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 really good. It's really good. And who knows? Your boy my mate might get lucky and uh, catch me a bottle. <laughs> catch me a bottle. Uh, Catch me one, or soon as the dupe is out or the clone is out, uh, one hand in it like Randy Moss. <laughs> That's what we're doing, all right? All right, so my good family, y'all let me know down below. Have you seen other new Creed events? It's absolutely, let me know your thoughts. Let me know what you're thinking. Let's have a conversation for sure. I have a little bit more content on this coming up, so we'll be able to have more dialogue for sure, all right? Maybe a live stream, we'll see, all right? So, till next time, y'all be cool. Be safe, take care of yourselves. Y'all know what it is. Black up, uh, uh. Splack it down, splack it that thing all around. And remember, what you put onto this world is exactly what you are supposed to get back. You supposed to get back. All right. So if we're done here, we're done here. All right, we're done. You know, it, it gets cornier. It gets cornier. Splack. That was corny too. <laughs>